What is a battery shunt, and do you need one in your solar energy system? A shunt is a device that measures voltage and the current flowing in and out of the battery, which allows you to monitor the battery's state of charge. When you buy many battery monitors like this Victron, you get a shunt with it. It's basically a big resistor that can handle the amperage of the battery, but has very low resistance. This terminal connects to the battery negative. Here's your battery, this is the negative terminal, and this is the terminal of the shunt. The other terminal goes to your inverter and your solar chargers. So I mounted this shunt inside of a cover that's typically used for bus bars. And so this is the negative battery terminal. It goes through this cutoff switch and then down to the negative bus bar of the battery. The other terminal goes to the negatives of the system. You treat it like the battery negative. Um, you see I have three cables there. Two of those go to the negative terminals of the chargers and one goes to the negative terminal of the inverter. On the side of the shunt is a circuit board that gets its power from the positive terminal of your system battery. Victron supplies this cable with the shunt, and you'll notice it also has a small inline fuse. And this power cable is connected to this connector on the side of the circuit board. On some of the models of the shunt, there's an optional second connector this can be set up for a temperature gauge or even a startup battery on a boat or an RV. The shunt sends all its information from this RJ12 telephone cable to the battery monitor, which displays volts, amps, watts, state of charge, and estimated remaining time at the current draw. The BMV712 has built-in Bluetooth, and Victron has an absolutely great free mobile app. I already did a video review of the BMV 712. I'll put a link down below. So I have the 712 in my system, but if I were going to do it over again, I would probably just get the Victron Smart Shunt, which works with the app only and doesn't come with a physical hardware monitor. So for my use in the house here, I rarely look at the monitor. I almost always use the app. Um, I could see where you would want to have the monitor possibly in an RV or a boat, but I would just go with this. It's also cheaper, especially the 300 amp version of this. And 300 amps would give you a system at 12 volts of 3,600 watts. Um, if you're running a 24 volt system, that's 7,200 watts. If you're running a 48 volt system, it's 14,000 watts. It's a pretty big system. And, of course, there's other choices out there, like the Renogy uh, makes a battery shunt. I haven't personally used it. It seems to get pretty good reviews. And there are some cheap alternatives out there, too. Uh, this one in particular, uh, frequently returned item. I'd probably stay away from that. If you know of a good, cheap uh, battery monitor that's out there, please leave it in the comments below. At the beginning of this video, I asked the question, what is a shunt and do you need one? Well, maybe you don't need one because it would be redundant in your system. For example, most of the rack mount batteries that are out there come with either CAN or RS-485 communication interfaces. So your battery is already talking to your inverter or you could hook a computer up to those ports and you can see everything you need to know about your battery from the overall state of charge to the individual voltages of each cell. That wraps it up for this video. See you in the next one.